Hey, Danielle. I'm so glad to see my friend and neighbor, Richard Rinaldi. What's new with you? Uh, I am actually about to come out with a new book, um, which is really exciting, and two uh, exhibitions uh, in New York this April. So I've been working really hard on getting all that ready, and now I feel like it's the calm before the storm. It's so exciting. So the book and the exhibits are based on your project, Touching Strangers. I came up with the concept while working on a project uh, at, called See America by Bus, where I was traveling around to bus stations around the country making portraits of people waiting uh, for their next bus. In that situation, I came across the scenario of people unknown to each other waiting on these communal benches and I wanted to photograph them together. So in that situation, it was a new thing for me to experience actually coordinating two or more people that didn't know each other in the same image. And it was a challenge that I, I found interesting and I liked. So I thought how I could expand on that and I thought of the idea, well, what if I asked two or more people to actually be in a picture together and touch each other? Was there a particular challenge or, or boon in asking New Yorkers to pose? Actually, I'll, I'll say this right to the camera. New Yorkers are a tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's only really actually because they are more um, busy and in a hurry. I find that people in New York don't have as much time to just stop and do something. But people I, f I feel are super friendly here. Maybe a little more guarded, but once you break that down, as nice as anywhere else in the country. I wonder if once they realize you're a very renowned photographer, this is a project that's very serious and legit, did then the touching come easier for the New Yorkers? or uh, Definitely. I, I mean, I found people in urban areas, and in New York in particular, to be very open once once they were on board to, to becoming intimate with another stranger. Um, and it was not as challenging as in other places. What's a situation that comes to mind when you think about all the subjects of touching strangers where you knew you could get a little more and how did you, does a certain pairing come to mind where you coax them into something beautiful when at first you thought it wasn't gonna go anywhere? One of the last ones I did is was at Venice Beach, mm -hmm. and um, and it's with um, this guy named Andrew, who is kind of a bodybuilder. And I found a woman to pair him, him with, and I really wanted to push this one. The woman, her name is Ekabong, and she was uh, uh, originally from Nigeria. She was gorgeous. She had a boyfriend, so. I thought, okay, well, this is going to be... And she's with the boyfriend? No. No, okay. But I thought this was going to be really kind of tough um, because I wanted actually them to kiss. But actually what I got out of them was a very, very beautiful, sensual and erotic kind of like um, uh, intimate nuzzling kind of uh, image, which I, is one of my favorites. Very I'm sensual. surprised that it kind of I was of very surprised that she evolved. gave... Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's, and it's gorgeous uh, yellow background, so it's very bold and dynamic. We're really lucky because um, I think a lot of pr uh, the media picked up the, the project, and you know there was a lot of social media that kind right. of exploded in, last summer, and I got some really good press. CBS News did a, a piece where they tailed me on a shoot here in New York City. You were really um, adorable in that. Thank you. <laughs> So, so that, serious, so that, that was, that, that was, um, that was great. And so it really, it was great. It will be a beautiful, beautiful undertaking for all of us who are smart enough to go and check out these, these exhibits. There's so much new with you, Richard Rinaldi. Thank you so much for sharing everything with us. Thank you, Danielle.